All right, now I'm going to tackle this guy. This is in the head. It looks like the original. I pulled out this panel right here. Four screws. Also took out the uh, the trap. Give myself some more room. So I've got to get way up in there and get those out. But it looks like I've got a lot more room. So I'd recommend taking this trap out. And of course, sorry for all the movement. Taking that guy out, four screws. And yeah, I'll check back in, let you know how it's going. So we're going to replace this guy with a new fancier one. All right, so I just took this door off. It's five screws, two long ones at the top, three shorter ones in the middle. And there's a door, the toilet, it's the toilet paper uh, things there. It kept hitting me in the back, and I'm hoping to get a little more room in here. There is not a lot of room in there to get there to that nut. So here we go. All right, I was not able to get this. And the reason being, if you look right here, you see that brass where it connects to the stainless? Those got to come out. And when you turn the stainless from the braided hose, the brass one turns. No big deal, right? Well, you literally cannot, I can't get two hands in here. I can barely get my one arm in here and my head. I've done everything I can to try to trick it, put something in there, try to hold it, and I just can't do it. So this is the one from the head, from the galley that I took out. You got to take that nut off while the bolt, brass, whatever thing there that it's connected to doesn't move, and it moves. So... I'm going to put it back together. I've already re put that bolt back on. This is a tough one. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to have to deal with that, that older looking faucet. Um, and if you guys have a suggestion, let me know. But I'm on my knees. I've got it on my back. I cannot get in there with two hands to hold that brass. I guess it's a coupler, nut, bolt, whatever. While I turn, take those off. And those have got to come off. Um, for the new one. I, I tried disconnecting them there. They don't come off because as you turn the whole thing braids up and jams. So maybe there's a trick to doing that. But even if I get those off with the faucet I have, they're different size fittings. So maybe I go find a faucet where I can get those two off and plug screw those right back into a new faucet. So maybe that's my only choice. Alright, thanks. Okay, so here's what I ended up doing. I got a pair of vice grips. It's really hard to get in here. Put them on right there, and I was turning the wrench to take that nut off, that braided line. This would bump up against here, and it held. So I can't tell yet, but I got that line hand loose. I'll turn that a little bit so you guys can see. Yep, it's turning. Yeah, make sure you shut your fresh water pump off. I had a little leak in here. That was stupid. So I'm gonna try to get the second one off, and see how much progress I make. All right. So the other tricky part. See that right there? That is screwed in right there, so I had to get in here with stubby, unscrew it backwards so I could get access to these two fittings because I can't, you can't get in there to get the wrench on there because it's so tight. So <laughs> we'll see if I get it back on, making good progress. Success. So I was able to get this guy taken off. There's a screw. There's a stubby Phillips I used. I had to go up in here and work backwards. So it gave me a ton more room. For those following along at home and want to try this project, this is a three-quarter. This is a five-eighths. I'd highly recommend get some racket, open-end wrenches. I don't have any. That's the slowest part, turning it slowly. But uh, now let's see if we can get the faucet out. All right, it's out. <laughs> it wasn't easy. So the ring, the nut, if you will, that goes on here, will not come over these two fittings. The second one I've already broken off. So what I had to do was with this in the hole, just keep working it and working it and working it until it finally snapped right there. Sorry, right there. Took one of the hoses off, which was a pain in the butt, thinking I'd have some more room to get that nut off, but I did not. So, got it out. Looks like I'll never be using it again, so hopefully the new one works. All right, success. She's in there. Looks pretty nice. I need to figure out how to get that round clip with the screw on it back in that is not going too well um, i don't like the idea of those not being supported since they're water lines and some crashing waves but that may be where i end up i'm gonna put the door back on put the toilet thing back on so you can see this is a messy project put all this crap away and call today this was a pain in the butt i'm not sure i would tackle this again i mean it's super nice and pretty and all that sorry about the finger but um, yeah, if you like it, please click the like button, leave some comments. Happy to share the brand. I'll try to remember to put that in there. And I uh, appreciate your patience as I move through this one. Thanks.